Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 10 of Gangsta. And I didn't record a video for last week's because obviously it was just a recap. Episode 9.5. And I didn't think it was really necessary to review a recap episode. So I just, you know, took a little break from Gangsta. Um, this week's though, it's pretty much, this is episode 10. There's 12 episodes in the season, so there's only two more after this. And it's kind of like this is the starting episode leading up to the last two are going to probably be explosive and big. This one, we learn like a bunch of things. Like, for instance, um, that Marco guy, that ring, is actually the girl who owns that shop, Connie. So that was pretty interesting to learn. She also gives Alex a key. Something about, like, you know, um, if you want to find your brother, you, better, you should be leaving soon. Because I guess, you know, this episode is pretty much everything like something is starting to go down like seriously it starts at the end of the episode pretty much and she gives her a key i'm not too sure what that key is going to open but we'll probably find that out later warwick also there's like a whole bunch of things going on with him he's trying to figure things out what he should do and everything um he's going to like he he found he saw one of the guys the hunters as they call them and he's like, hmm, haven't seen that guy around. And he's like, yeah, that's a bad guy. You better get him. But other than that, it was pretty much like we learned a little bit more about Twilight and everything because Alex reached from a book. The Cristiano family and all that kind of stuff is starting to rebuild. And Bastard is going to be open once again. But pretty much what's happening is the Hunters are on the move. They are. Pretty much the Cristiano family is weakened. Monroe family only has one Twilight, which is, of course... Um, Delico, and he's only like a D zero, I think. So they're ready to be attacked and everything. And the only real threat, I guess, the hunters really see is the you know that Twilight Guild. And in this episode, they pretty much start attacking all of them. And this pretty much this one girl with this axe is just like with like a lollipop in her mouth, just cutting everyone up, killing everyone. I actually got scared for a moment. Sorry, that's a car passing by, but. I actually got scared for a moment if Doug was actually going to die in that one, but he does get away. I, I've, I've learned to like Doug. He seems He's a pretty cool guy. I like that they're actually putting him in these episodes and everything as kind of a you know more main person in it. Um, other than that, like looks like that guy Ivan in the last time that we found out was bad. Looks like he's about to betray Danny you know Daniel Monroe so I wonder how that's gonna work out as well everything is just starting to like it, this episode is literally just to lead up to the next episode and next episode is gonna be pretty explosive probably gonna have hunters fighting Twilight's um, I don't know what um, Daniel Monroe is gonna do to that Ivan guy I'm pretty sure he's not gonna die um, what's gonna happen with the Cristiano family what is Alex gonna do you saw Nicholas at the end is he gonna go out to try and fight him because you know him and his bloodthirstiness and what is Warwick's plan? What is he going to do? There's a whole bunch of questions left unanswered. But that's obviously because this is the beginning episode of this. I guess you can say arc. And there's only two more episodes that will be showing next week and the week after that. And I honestly can't wait to see how this how this anime ends up ending. How are they going to end this? Because right now, there's like it's just going to be an explosive huge fight. But I'm, not, I'm really not sure how it's going to end. What are they going to do to end it? And will it give us closure? Is there supposed to be more? I think there is a manga or light novel of this. I honestly kind of blanking out right now. But I'm wondering if there's going to be a second season. What? We'll just have to wait and see. Honestly, this episode, it was, it was an okay episode. Like I said, it was an episode to lead everything up. We got a bunch of clues on stuff. Everything is slowly being put into place, pretty much. Everyone is slowly realizing that something is happening and obviously the hunters are on the move so yeah that's all i really got to say about this episode <clears throat> it was a nice good episode to start things off lead up to these next two episodes which i'm pretty sure are gonna be pretty dang explosive and just i'm i'm just really excited to see how crazy it gets to be honest but yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything i missed and you want to talk about comment below as well and until next time guys see ya